Good morning, everybody. We are in a new city. That means this is day number one of trying to live on $100 here in Batumi, Georgia. Now, for anybody that's not familiar with how this works, let me go over the rules again. There's three of them. The first one is very simple. We start with a $100 bill and we see how frugal we can be. We see how long we can make that last. When we run out of money, the game is over. But the second rule is that we're able to earn money. We're able to do whatever it takes to be able to hustle and grind to be able to make this last longer. We are able to earn money. And the third rule, this is kind of something that we've uh, developed along the way. I am only able to shop at the same store once before I need to move on. That way I'm consistently needing to find new and exciting ways to save money. So three rules, let's go. We are currently on the outskirts of town. I'm not entirely sure where, but let's go walk into town and see if we can't get a better sense of direction. There are so many dogs over here. I am a little bit surprised, honestly. This is the second largest city in the country and it looks like it's gonna fall down. Like, yeah, I'm just surprised. I'm out here looking for a coffee shop, a place for us to like sit down and find out where we're gonna be sleeping for tonight, but I don't see anything that even looks remotely like a place for you to just go in and loiter. Like, in the last place we were at, there was Dunkin' Donuts, at least. I can't even find that here. Like, there are places to get coffee, don't get me wrong, but you can't, like, sit here and work on a laptop in a little vending machine. I am pretty sure the beach is right over there, though, so let's go head over there and see if we can't find, like, a picnic table to sit down at. Oh, but check this out. They do have the fun little scooters here. We should get on one of these later. I want to see how expensive they are. They're real fun. They're real fun. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Black Sea. In a couple days, when this season is over, we are going to hop on a container ship and we are going to sail across the Black Sea to try to get to Bulgaria. Um, that's a future day problem. I don't even know how that's even going to happen, but we're going to be sailing across this pretty soon. All of the buildings where the tourists come to look at the beach, these things look like cathedrals. This little coastline actually feels a lot like how I imagined Dubai would. Like you've got these fucking cathedrals made of glass and marble. But then if you, lock, if you walk right behind there, you get the, the buildings that look like they're about to fall down. Whenever we find a place to stop, I want to take a look online and see how much one of these things would cost to stay in. Just because I know how cheap the country is normally. We do have some more pups though. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. I can't touch you though. I don't like rabies. This just makes my skin crawl. Look at this. They're all fancy. I mean, they, they went to great lengths to make these buildings look as pristine as they could. We're gonna take a seat here on this bench and just orient ourselves a little bit. I am looking at Google Maps right now and it looks like there's a little uh, McDonald's ripoff thing right here. Except instead of selling burgers, they sell these big burrito things called shawarma. Let's go, let's go take a look at a McDonald's knockoff. I heard that Russia is doing some McDonald's knockoffs too, because you guys know that McDonald's left Russia because of the invasion. Um, but they still have the buildings there, they still have all of the equipment. So I heard that Russia is just renaming them like McBurger or something like that, and they're just keeping the restaurants open and they, they've just basically stolen them. I would love to go to one of those little knockoff places and just see what the experience is. Just looking at the buildings surrounding this area, I don't expect anything here to be especially cheap. So. We will go to this knockoff McDonald's, but I think that we need to move more to the other side of the city away from the beach if we want to get good prices. <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. Like that building, it looks like it's falling apart. But then right over there, you've got like cathedrals. <sighs> see, look at that right there. That is literally the McDonald's double arcs, right? You see that? Okay, but like pause. Look at that building. That is some fancy architecture. Damn it, with all of these dogs, I stepped in dog shit. Fucking Christ. God damn it, I'm pissed. The thing is, I don't see anybody going in there to eat. Is this just like a drive through only kind of place? This is, without a doubt, the most bougie McDonald's I've ever seen. Haha, <laughs> I take back everything I said. Apparently it is called McDonald's. Yeah, it looks like just a regular McDonald's. <laughs> English, eat in. We are just gonna get a cappuccino for now. Yeah, cappuccino. And then we'll go find a place to sit and we'll reassess food later. Okay, perfect. Let's go find a place to sit. 
and crack open our laptop. Bonus points if we can find an outlet too, because that's just gravy. Look at this, this McDonald's has a little play place for kids with like basketballs and basketball hoops. I haven't seen a play place in a long time. Ah, there's an outlet, here we go. This will work. This cappuccino right here costs $1.59. You can see up there, $1.59 has been reduced from our budget. As we go through the series, this is going to slowly decrease as we spend money, and once this hits zero, it's game over. We're gonna see how long we can keep this above zero. See, I thought about leaving my bag here on the seat, but I've learned to keep all of my possessions like in my line of sight, so we're gonna keep them up on the counter. I am uh, looking at Google Maps, and I understand what the confusion happened. So this definitely is McDonald's, uh, but apparently like right next door, there is the McShwarma. So if we get food, I think I wanna try that out. But let's still sit here and figure out where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. Honestly, I'm actually really happy with the prices here though. Like, you would expect in a super touristy spot with a building that looks like this, you would expect a coffee to cost more than a dollar. Like, this is... I am really happy with this McDonald's. In addition to the cheap coffee, I'm also stealing as much electricity from this place as I can. I've got my headphones charging right here. I've got my camera charging. I've got my phone charging. We're gonna, we're gonna suck this place dry. Holy shit. You guys remember all of those big cathedral buildings that I was saying that all of the rich people were and I wanted to find out how much they cost? Look at these hotel prices. The same hotels that we were looking at, $70 a night, $66 a night. This one, $93, $41 a night, $47, $32. Look at this, this is the same building that we were just at, $32 a night. That means that the best hotels you can stay in in the entire country are better than the cheapest hotels in America. You try getting a hotel in America for less than $40 a night, like, this is incredible. I'm making a promise. At the end of this series, after we spent our $100, we're gonna spend a night in one of these super high-rise hotels for $30 a night, $40 a night. Let's see, let's see what that is. But we need to focus on super cheap accommodation right now, and so we are going to use Hostel World. This uh, is basically an aggregator of all of the hostels in the place that you're at, and we can see that hostels right now, this hostel, this one right here is going for $5 a night. It looks like this one is going for like $3.50, $3.50 a night. Oh, that's, we gotta check that out. Holy shit, this will hands down the cheapest hostel we've ever been to. And these look really good. For $3.50 a night, holy shit, we gotta book this. And the best part, it is only a 32 minute walk away. Like we can walk there. It's right on the beach. It is right on the edge of the beach. Oh my God, this is the cheapest hostel we've ever seen. I really hope it turns out to be good because I could, I could actually live there. I could just like book a whole month and just stay there. That is so cheap. Remember, last month we were paying $22 a day in Barcelona, so the fact that we're getting this for literally 10 times cheaper is insane. Holy shit, I just booked it for $3.28 a night. So, $3.28. Let, let me just let you know what that means. This is going to be the longest season ever. We could get an entire month, 30 days, for less than $100. And assuming we're making money, assuming we're making enough money to be able to pay for the food here, this season could potentially last an entire month. I am not sure I am prepared to film for that long. Okay, I'm looking at the fine print of the hostel and you can see here that it says the, it says the maximum number of permitted, permitted stays is 14. So the longest we can stay in this particular hostel is 14 nights and that would still blow every other season out of the water. There are other hostels here, there's another hostel here for like $5 a night, like still, if we are making any kind of money at all, this season might never end. Okay, let's go head over to our knockoff McDonald's over there and then go find out if there's anything like horribly wrong with this hostel. There's no way that it can be that cheap and as good as it looks on the website. There's just, there's gotta be a catch. We are gonna stick my jacket in my backpack though because it is too hot outside to be wearing this. Okay, let's go get some food. What a fancy McDonald's, Jesus Christ. We've got their own water ponds over here, Jesus. Here we are, this is our uh, upside down McDonald's knockoff. Let's check it out. It looks just like McDonald's. I mean, identical to McDonald's, except it's called McSwarma. Um, the software looks exactly like the software that McDonald's was using. Uh, let's do takeaway. Um, I don't want a drink, we want shawarma, we want some pork, some meat. Three dollars, yeah, this is perfectly fine. Let's, get a, let's do a four dollar shawarma. Honestly, I don't know how this place is legal. This feels like some kind of like copyright infringement or something. <laughs> but I've never seen McDonald's with those in them before. So that's new. Okay, so we have officially been waiting in line for over 20 minutes. I think they just like forgot my order. Thank you very much. This was $3.62. $3.62 up there. This thing that we got right here is called a shawarma. Other parts of the world call it a Donner kebab. 
But if you're a fan of the channel, you will probably remember this affectionately as a big burrito. It's not quite a burrito though, like you can see in there, it's not so much as like beans and cheese as it is just meat. There's a lot of meat and onions. It's good. You can see it's got a lot of meat. It's like pulled pork. It's like a pulled pork burrito. That's a good way to describe it. Honestly, now that I know that these hotels aren't full of people spending like a thousand dollars a night to be able to stay there, they look a lot nicer. Like you got buildings like this, which are directly adjacent to these things. But the fact that these are so cheap is actually just amazing, honestly. It does look like we overpaid on our coffee though at McDonald's. We can get a coffee for 30 cents here. Gotta remember that. I don't have any cash on me though, I only got cards. Still, 30 cents. Look at this, these cobblestone streets. This is so cool. You know, it's kind of disappointing that we don't really have statues like this in America. The only place you can see stuff like this is Washington, D.C. And that's a shame. Okay, I believe our hostel should be right down here. Yep, here we are. This is it. $3.28 a night. Let's find out what we're getting with that. Um, so there doesn't seem to be anybody here. The door is locked. Nobody is answering the bell. Um, I think I might know why this place was so cheap. It might not be real. Maybe it's just too early to check in. It's almost 3 p.m., so it shouldn't be, but I guess we'll check back later. I kind of bet all of my chips on this place, so if we have to find another hostel, I'm gonna be salty. Funny enough, it's actually gonna be one of these ships right here, something like this, that we're gonna be sailing across the Black Sea in. They sell uh, little cabins for you if you wanna, it's gonna be like a multiple day trek, but this is where we're gonna be staying soon. Oh, I'm so excited. It has been about an hour. Let's try it again. I am beginning to think that I uh, might have got scammed because I did already pay for this. I didn't pay a whole lot because, again, it's like $3 a night, but that would kind of eat out the budget if um, this doesn't work. God damn it. I am uh, calling the hostel now, but nobody's picking up. Fucking rip. I have honestly never had this happen before. I've never had a hostel accept my booking and then just be closed. That's a shame because at that price, that hostel would have been game changing. Let's go find a table or something to sit down at. I'm getting tired of carrying this bag. All of this is beginning to weigh on me. Just as a heads up to anybody that watches my videos and thinks it would be fun to travel with me, this kind of stuff happens. Like, just unexpected bullshit and you need to be able to like roll with it. You need to be able to just like accept that stuff happens and it's okay and you just keep moving on because um, this happens a lot. Looking on Hostel World, there is another hostel that is like 30 minutes away that way. It's $5 a night. Maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't exist, but this one definitely doesn't, so let's start heading in that direction. Wow. I can't wait to take a look at my fitness tracker later today and find out how many miles I've walked. This is not the hostel we're going to. This is just a hostel that I found while I'm walking out here. But I had a thought. The only hostels I ever book are the ones that are online, the ones that have like internet connection. I wonder if we can get a better price by using one of these local ones that doesn't like know how to use the internet. I wonder if we can get a better price like that. Like hostels have existed before the internet. So I imagine a fair few number of these people haven't like updated their systems to be able to use booking.com. I wonder what the prices are though. We should look at that tomorrow. After we find a place to fucking put my bags down. I'm in a bad mood. We are almost there though. I think that we need to come into this alleyway right here which is always a good sign. It's a sign of like top-notch establishments, high quality venues. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the hostel. Maybe, maybe it's just a person's house. Who knows? I hate this place. There's no signs. This is the bathroom here in the hostel. There is a, there's a bathtub. I'm not sure if it's like appropriate to take a bath in a hostel. I'm sure there's like, oh my, oh, I'm super tempted. Ooh, I'm super tempted. This place costs $5 a night. So $5 a night down there. But we actually need to go to an ATM machine because they don't take my card. So we need to go get cash. 
actually looking at the kitchen, I think that this was just like somebody's house at one point and they took a spare room and they're like, hey, let's sell this. This is what $5 a night gets you. I would really like to stress though that there is not like a sign or any way for you to know that this is the right place for you to go. People in Batumi, I guess they're just not fond of signs. ATM machine, that is our goal right now. Oh, hey, look at that. I haven't seen an American car here in a while. That's cool. Here we are, ATM machine. I don't know what kinds of fees they charge, so this will be fun. Look at that, I withdrew what is essentially $33 and the ATM did not charge me any fee at all. So that's a plus, I guess. But I'm actually pretty sure that this bill is too large for the people at the hostel to be able to break. So we're gonna come to the supermarket, get a Coke, and then have them break it for us. Looks like a large Coke is a dollar, so that'll do. I can just feel how long today's video is gonna be because of how tired I am already. <sighs> there we go, we broke our cash, we got our Coke, now all we need to do is pay her, and we're good. Onward and outward. Hello, hello, hello. Where are, hello. I am a little bit disappointed that there's not a locker because like I had to leave my laptop here while I went to the ATMs. So that means any of the other people that happen to be here could just like walk off with my stuff. Most hostels, they have lockers. But again, $5 a night, so that is what you get. I'm actually gonna go walk around the city a bit more. I don't like being in there. Mm. I should check for bed bugs. I still need to shoot all of the thumbnails for this series. And I guess this series isn't gonna be lasting for a month anymore, so I only need to take like seven or eight good pictures for the thumbnails on YouTube. Let's go on a walk. Oh, hey, look at this. There's a little carnival thing going on over here. Um. I'm not sure if I want to get on any of the rides. I recently saw a video but about a dude in Six Flags who fell off and died. And I feel like they probably have worse um, structural integrity here than they do in America. So I'm not actually going to get on any of their rides. But it's cool that they're here. So fun little bit of uh, Nate trivia. I get ridiculously motion sick. I would probably vomit coming off of that ride. I can't even go on swings. Like just a regular playground swing will make me nauseous. Come with me. I'm going to show you guys how I take my thumbnails. We need to find somewhere shady so that we don't get this harsh lighting. Let's come down here because I think this is shady enough. Then we need to find something that is about eye level so we can set our phone on it. And actually, let's try this. So what I do is I set my phone down and I take the S Pen out. This is important because this is basically a remote shutter. I can push this button on my S Pen and it'll take a picture. So now we just need to get in here. We need to pose and take the pictures. I edit the thumbnails a little bit before I post them to get the text in there, but that's a video for another time. Right now, I just had to make sure that I get them while the sun is still up. I was actually pretty fortunate. I was able to get this video sponsored. It's not by like a big company or anything. It's actually by one of you guys. One of my viewers, he's been watching my videos for a while and he wanted to know if he could pay me money to talk about his app. Do you guys know what a teleprompter is? Do you like watch the news or if you watch anything with scripted content, they will actually be reading something in the background. They've already got a script written for them and they will just be reading that off of a screen. This is actually how it works. You write your script and then you import it into the app. And then when you're actually reading this, the camera will slowly scroll down so you can keep pace and not forget what you're trying to say. I'm actually gonna be using his app on my channel because there's other types of content that I wanna do beyond just this vlogging. Vlogging is pretty ad lib, I don't need a script for this, but I wanna start reviewing books and movies and stuff that I read and consume, and I need to write that down. I need a script so that I can keep a constant narrative and not like lose track of stuff. His app is perfect for that, especially because I talk really fast and I'm able to adjust how fast that scrolls. His app is perfect for me. So if you guys are content creators, give it a shot. Side note, speaking of sponsorships, I've recently been made aware that there is a plugin that you can get on Chrome and Firefox called Sponsor Block. Basically, it's like ad block, except you're watching a YouTube video and it will go through the video and it'll find out where the sponsored part is and it will just cut that out. So you don't see any sponsored content on your YouTube. And I wanna know how it does it. Does it like go through the audio or does it like, like I wanna know how it does it. I wanna look at the code. It's probably open source. I wanna see how effective that is. That is fascinating to me. I am back at the hostel though. And boy howdy, I am considering using this bathtub. They gave me a towel, so I have a towel. Um, I think there's only one other person in the hostel, so I wouldn't even be taking the bath from them that long. There are other bathrooms in here, so. Whew, does it have a plug? It has a plug. There's kind of nasty stuff in there, actually. I don't think I care. How hot is the water? Let's find out. So after running the water for a few moments, I've decided that this is not worth it. This place costs $5 a night. That is too cheap for this to be worth the, worth the risk. We're just not gonna do that. I think I might get some dinner and then settle down for the night. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Mustangs are more popular here than I would have thought they would be. Like imports have to be expensive, right? That has to be a rich person, right? Because I doubt there's a Kevin driving that with his 32% APR. That has to be a wealthy person. We are going to be getting food from here. This is a bakery and it smells really good. Like from outside on the street, you can smell it. Ooh, cakes. I haven't had cake in a while. Okay, I take it back. This is way too busy for me. I don't want to deal with this. Busy places are fine if they're in English, but in a place where I don't even know the native language, it's much harder and I take longer, so I don't want to like have anybody else have to wait in line behind me. And if we go somewhere else, it'll probably be cheaper because I can't imagine that place was really handing out bargains. Hog, whatever, grocery store it is. Um, they might have a microwave at the hostel. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look at this though. They've got bread. Bread, bre um, yes. Bre uh, this bread, this looks like good bread. I don't know what good bread is, but this is, yeah, like 25 cents for this loaf of bread. It's fantastic. Oh, and there's so much bread. We're gonna have to come back. I am also feeling some bananas. Let's get two bananas. And I'm gonna splurge on some Oreos here. Yeah. I still have the Diet Coke that we bought earlier today, so we don't need to drink. This all costs $1.17. $1.17 for bananas, Oreos, and bread. That's pretty dope. I don't really feel like walking anymore, so we are gonna eat right uh, here. I wonder if I would have made it to the store sooner. Get off. Fucking, it's so hard to do things with one hand. Get off of the bread, you. There we go. I wonder if I would have got to the store earlier if I could have got this warm. I wonder if they make their own bread or if they buy it from a local baker. Open up. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Okay. Bread. Let's try this. It's good. Next up, let's sample the bananas. God damn it, nothing opens properly when I'm trying to do it with my camera. Okay, we got a mushy top. We got a mushy top, okay, that happens. Still great though. It's a banana, it's kinda small. You might be wondering if I feel embarrassed sitting like on the middle of the fucking road just eating food. And the answer is no. Last up, we have our Oreos. I don't know if these are imported or if they make them here, if they have like their own Oreo factory, but these are really cheap if they are imported. Identical, identical. This is gonna sound kind of stupid, but I like trying Oreos in all of the various countries I go to because my last girlfriend had a really strong affinity for Oreos. She would try all of the different flavors, all of the varieties, just because she wanted to try them all. And so now, whenever I go to new countries, I try the Oreos there to see if they're different, to see if I could find a type of Oreo she's never had before and ship it back to her. I've never found anything, I've never shipped anything to her, but I try them nonetheless, and they've all been identical. I think we are gonna save half of this loaf of bread for breakfast tomorrow, and then we will eat this half. I'm walking by the bakery, and it smells so good. All I've got is my little loaf of bread. Who am I kidding? There is no way I'm gonna have the self-control to not eat this. This will not exist by come breakfast time tomorrow. Hi, cat. Check this out. I have walked almost 16 miles today. All of that walking around. Damn, I am exhausted. My poor little legs. It's funny, I'm editing the vlog now, and I'm realizing this is gonna be the longest video I've ever made on my channel. It's, I'm already, I'm already, it's only like 7 p.m. right now. I've already got 25 minutes worth of clips. I haven't trimmed them down yet, but this is gonna be a really long vlog. I'm so sorry, guys, I apologize. So, in the hostel with me, there's a guy, he's Indian, but based on his setup right here, I'm getting the impression he has been here for a while. He might be just like living in this like $5 hostel. That might be the way. Just like find a hostel that'll let you stay there for a couple months, pay $5, boom, you've got your rent taken care of. That's like, what, $150 a month? I think that guy's got it figured out. And if he's been here, there's probably not bed bugs. Or maybe there, his, his presence here has no impact on whether or not there's bed bugs. I don't know. Oh, but check this out. There's a little pup. The hostel has a puppy. Mm. Oh, it's got the floppy ears. <laughs> I really hope there's not fleas. Oh, but it's so cute. I was right. I'm only halfway through editing the video and I'm eating the bread. I knew this wouldn't last. What was I thinking? Okay, I think that is finally the end of the video. We have $84.28 left. 
Now, I'm counting the money that we lost at the first hostel, the scam hostel, against us. That came out of my account. That is money that we spent. So that is affecting the budget. I am fighting for a refund. If we are able to get that refunded, then I will credit that back to the account. But essentially, we spent about $15 today. We definitely can be more frugal in the future. So I expect this season to last about seven-ish days. If you guys enjoy watching me do this, um, click this tile right here. This will take you to what happens tomorrow. Unless you're watching this uh, on the first day, in which case this video has not been posted yet and this card does not exist.